Hello, Visionary, and welcome back to our channel. This is Raquel of Raquel and Davidian Unleash Your Genius. And in this video, we're going to be talking to the spiritual entrepreneur, the woopreneur, the spiritpreneur, the empathpreneur, or really just anybody who has a message about consciousness, self-actualization, shamanism, tarot reading, anything along that line this video is for you if you have a message you have something you want to say it's brewing inside you and you're ready to launch your youtube channel because here's the thing starting a youtube channel as a woopreneur is just a little bit different if you have something super powerful that you want to say and you have a very strong message that's in the realm of woo then this dimension of YouTube works a little bit differently for you as all of the dimensions on the planet are a little bit different for you if you guys know what I'm talking about. So really enjoy this video and I'm gonna give you five steps to starting your YouTube channel as a woopreneur. I'll see you on the inside. So this video, how to start a YouTube channel for the spiritpreneur in five simple steps. Plus, if you stay until the end, I have some bonus tips for you as well. So welcome everyone. You're so in the right place if you know deep down that you're meant to have a successful business or YouTube channel, but you're just a little bit woo than the next person. And a lot of what you see on the how-to videos just doesn't really fit your frequency, your message, or your energy. So I want you to know I see you. And while we're at the time of shooting this video, this is the global pandemic of COVID-19, the coronavirus. And right now, it really is about learning how to have an online business and be fluid, make money, doing something that you can do from home, that you can do from anywhere, and that you can make money and support your family and not have to worry about what's going on on the global economic scene or within the financial crisis. It's really taking your business back into your own hands. And that's what I'm here to encourage you to do because this is a place that can really launch and expand your business. Even if you have just a small channel and a small group of people that love you or need your wisdom. So what is a spiritual preneur or spiritual entrepreneur? So you probably see yourself as a change maker or high level achiever, a heart centered, a spiritual entrepreneur a visionary, a thought leader, a healer, a spiritual teacher, a creative business owner, a conscious entrepreneur, a business life coach, or anyone really who wants to serve, make an impact. And, um, you know, even if you don't have a business right now, maybe you're brainstorming on what you want to talk about, the ideas you want to bring forward. You feel like you could you maybe want to expand and reach clients virtually. For all of these things, having a YouTube channel is a great, great place to start. And it's a place where you can have a platform and create a frequency and build a community and monetize. So if you see yourself as a light worker or an empath or someone who doesn't really fit into um, go out there and make it happen models. And really what that means is maybe you're at home for the first time from a career or a job and you're really loving it and you love your time, you love your freedom, or maybe you just want some extra income right now, or maybe it is true you just don't fit into any other mold and this is a, a platform that's calling you. The thing is, is that most of my clients, they know they have a message. They know deep down, they might be afraid, they might be scared, but they know that they have something to share with the world. So they know they have a message and they're ready to get that message out. So let's dive in. Step one, learning your superpower. So 
if you don't know me, my name is Raquel Reyna and I work with my partner, Davidian Lion. We teach people how to unlock their superpower and really utilize that in their life, their careers, and their businesses. We use a system called human design and basically it taps into your DNA genetic blueprint, your unique genius, really helps you understand who you are before you launch yourself online, before you speak, before you do anything, it really helps to know the basics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some human design basic videos up here so you can just get the basics of what your aura type are, what your strategy is, so you can make sure that you're operating correctly. And I promise you that's going to save all of the headache. And <laughs> Please trust me on this. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on coaches and programs before I knew that I was a projector. And once I found that out, everything changed. And all of the teachings, the coachings, the models, they really didn't work for my type. And so it will save you a lot of headache if you know your basic type first so that you operate correctly and anything you start, be it a new aspect of your business, the videos, or even if you want to start a new selling a new product on YouTube, this is going to help you understand how to do it correctly as yourself. And everyone is a little bit different. Let's move on to step two. So stop trying to be perfect. Okay. So let's check into your shadow. And this is where I believe that I'm hitting on the core for each one of my spiritpreneurs and my woopreneurs. It's this fear of being seen. Oftentimes it might be something in your past. It might even be a past life. Something that triggers you every time you go to speak or you go to step forward or you have an egoic resistance, which shows up as procrastination. It'll show up as having too many things in front of you. It'll show up as having all of a sudden being too busy to do what you need to do. And so all of these things are fears. The fear of saying something wrong, the fear of what you look like, the fear of not being smart enough, pretty enough, young enough. All of these things block us from stepping forward. And I know for me, as I was beginning to break down my corporate career and, and step into what I feel like is my true life calling, I had so many fears of my time has already come. I've already you know, tried things before, um, you know, only if I was, you know, younger, I would have felt more confident. All of these things came forward for me and all of my clients have had some type of fear. So the very first thing you need to feel into is what is your fear trying to say to you? How is it blocking you? How is it discouraging you? And how is it um, creating the obstacles for you to actually move forward. So go ahead and pause this video and take a few seconds to kind of write out your fears so you can get them out of your head and onto the paper. And you can really pay attention to what might be underneath the surface keeping you from really stepping into what you want to do. So my guess is if you've had a spiritual experience, so in other words, you were called to this because you're a little woo and we connect on that level. And so most people who have these types of experiences and they have something that they want to share and they want to start a YouTube channel, it's usually because they have an important message for the world. So trust me when I say it's a little more important, and I'm not trying to be rude when I say this, so no offense to anyone, but it's a little more important than another, you know, beauty tip blog or someone doing funny bits or, you know, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with humor or anything like that, but sometimes when you have a really important message, it just has a little bit more impact and power and it it's really needed. So in other words, if you're listening to this video, it's because you're having a calling and it's because your message is needed. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be here right now. You would have long shut this video down. 
Um, but the world really needs healing, particularly right now with the COVID-19, with all of the fear, with the um, it panic and the intensity that everyone is feeling. And maybe some people have even lost loved ones at this point. And so we really need some healing and we need uplifting messages. And so if you're here, there's a reason and the world really does need it and it needs it now. So let your vision and your mission be bigger than your fear. So look at all the fears that you wrote down and just feel when you allow the future, the vision of yourself, the bigger picture. Maybe it's that you want to have a seven-figure business and rise up above the economic um, collective um, lack mentality. You want to step into an abundance that you've never felt before. And you want to step into a vision and a mission that you know is possible regardless of what you're seeing around you. And you have to let that be bigger than anything that's trying to stop you. Any of the old uh, victim patterns or poor me patterns or patterns within you that are running, that are keeping you in a routine of the past and not allowing you to awaken to your true vision of who you know you can be. So remember this, type this out, write it out, put it on your mirrors and let your mission and your vision be bigger than your fear and take baby steps forward. So let's do this. Get your journal. Let's jot down some helpful notes and we're going to go into the steps. And I want you to go ahead and make sure you pay attention so you won't be distracted. So right now we're going to talk about your equipment setup. So this is step three. Keep it simple. Use what you have. Start with what you have. If you have an iPhone, if you have an, a laptop, all you need is a little Logitech webcam um, and a backdrop. If you have something more fancy and you have better cameras and you're tech savvy, then go for it. You need a little bit of lighting and you want the backdrop to have some fun with this and show your personality. So here's a couple things that people have used. Um, to create, you know, really simple videos. You can use these rings. You can get lighting kits like this. You can simply get a small little tripod for your iPhone. And that's simple. That's all you need to do. So here's a little be behind the scenes. Also, you can use little lights like this. People usually have some of these in their house. They're super easy to get. Um, all you need to do is get this background, a great background, and if you'll notice in this picture, it's just a simple screen. Now, you can even put this up on your wall. You can just get fabric. You can just use what you have in your house. You can, like what I do is I have my beautiful crystal, and that's because my environment in human design is caves. And so I create a crystal cave environment. And so it's part of my personality. It's part of my message and my branding. So have some fun with your backdrop. And then you'll notice that you are the subject. So you'll see she's right in front of her backdrop. And then you're going to have the camera. And in this particular case, she's got the, the, um, the circular little um, light as well. Those are, you know, very inexpensive on Amazon. I don't even have any links for you guys, but just type it in Amazon and I'm sure you'll be able to kind of figure it out. Um, and then you want to put a little bit lighting here and a little lighting here. She's done with this, but you can, like I said, you can use the lighting you have. And I sometimes just, um, put my lighting on one side and it's perfectly fine. The other thing I want to remind you of is eye level. That's really important because I see a lot of people, they have their laptop on their laps like this and they're looking down and it's like the camera sort of going up their nose. And so you want to take this laptop and lift it up. And so here's an example. This is actually how I, what I do with my laptop. I've got a Logitech camera here and I keep it super simple. I even have nicer equipment, but this is what I use when I'm coaching and it just works for me. I get a nice little box. I lift up my um, laptop on my desk so that my Logitech camera is eye level. So here's a little close up of the Logitech camera. 
Okay, but use what you have. Like I said, just use your office and create a little studio. You can use the lights that you have and that's all you need to get started. So the most important rule with this, my woopreneurs, my spiritualpreneurs, is that your message is more important than the techie bells and whistles or editing stuff. And that's because you're here for the frequency. You're here to provide a higher message. And so it's really important that you are clear on that because what happens is I see so, so many empaths and so many people with the really important things to do in the world and they get stuck in the confusion of the technology, the confusion of the editing and also the not having the right equipment and it stops them from the truth, which is really what people need is your frequency. And the frequency, actually, the less you do, the better. The less you script, <laughs> the less you memorize, the more you're yourself, um, the better the video is going to be. And let it be a fun adventure. So step number three, you might need to do some editing. Some people don't need to, and you don't have to, but if you want to edit, my recommendations would be on, if you have a Mac, to use something like Final Cut Pro or iMovie. I'm a PC user. I always have been, and I'm a Droid girl also, and I use Mavavi.com um, is where you get the editing suite, and it's really simple to use. Um, you can also edit on your phone, and the app I use for that is InShot, and that's, you know, these are all pretty inexpensive. I can't remember the exact price, like $59, $69, somewhere around there for the Mavabi. And then the InShot is only like, I believe right now they have a special for like $10 a year. So there is a little investment, but it's not much. And remember, the, the very important rule is keep it simple. If you want more videos on editing and things like that, just comment below and let me know. Um, and I can continue to support you. Step number four, set a vision and treat it like a business out the gate. You want your videos to lead to opt-ins, which is your free gifts, and you know, it can be a free meditation, it can be a free download, it can be a PDF, um, and your paid products, letting people know that you coach and that you have this product and what you're selling, okay? So the opt-in, is really something that you want to spend a little time thinking about. So for us, your free gift is getting your free chart. A lot of people don't know their type and their strategy, and that's the basis for all of our work. So I will actually put a link for that below so you guys can get your free charts and learn a little bit more about yourself as well. Um, but for your free gift, you want to think about how it's going to fit in with your brand and with your message. and. Um, with who you are. So it's got to be something that gets their name and their email in order for them to receive because what happens on YouTube is you don't know these people who are watching your videos and so you want to keep them in your community and be able to communicate with them and um, that's why you want to get their email address. A paid product is either a reading, a class, a service, and that can lead people um, from your videos so you can also build a business and make money doing what you do and doing what you love and so you want to think of what the paid product's going to be and if you're just starting out you can put a email address and say if you're interested in a session with me then just email me at and you put your email ours is support at raquelmarina.com and just say yes i'm interested in doing a reading and it can be that simple you can link them to your website step number five and probably the most important step but also the most complicated so stay with me here and i'm going to go through some bonuses also is that in order to really thrive on youtube you've got to hit the algorithms and you have to hit the sweet spot for the titles. So what you need to know that most people don't know, especially the spiritpreneurs, because they don't, it's a little harder for them to be on the techie side. They're more on, you know, the, the vibration and the freak, not everybody, not everyone, but a lot of my clients. 
Um, so you need to know that YouTube is owned by Google. And this is important because Google is the number one search engine and YouTube is number two. Okay, so people are searching for things. So they don't wanna just hear you blah, 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 talk about something. Maybe they will once they get to know you, but they're there looking for something. They're looking to figure something out. They're searching for specific questions to be answered. So what are they searching for? You know, things like what is meditation? And right now it would be things like how to heal anxiety in the COVID-19, uh, you know, and how to um, read tarot cards and how can I be self-actualized and what is the law of attraction? And so you want to do things that um, people are actually looking for and need support in. Okay, so you want to get your title right in the sweet spot. And something people search for um, is in the sweet spot, right? It's, so it's something that people search for, but there's very few videos on that subject. So you have a lot of people searching and not a lot of videos being made. And so this is how you learn about keywords. You guys have probably heard about SEO and how that all works. And it's really, a, it is important because it is an algorithm. So you want to find a topic that people love. Let's say you, you give tarot readings. So you want to search on tarot readings and you'll find a lot of videos. And so a way to help you figure this out is look at all the videos, see which ones has a ton of views. And then you want to look at the person giving the videos and see if their subscribers are less than their views. And so what that means is that, you know, if somebody has like 200 subscribers, but one of their video topics about your first tarot reading has 99,000 views, then you know that's a topic people are interested in and that's a sweet spot. So you're narrowing down, you're finding a topic that really works and hashtag boom, that's how we find your sweet spot. So it's a highly searched keyword, something like Reiki, for example, and then you kind of narrow it down and you'll see that if you go to, to Reiki with um, Reiki for sleep, you're narrowing down the niche. And if you go to Reiki for sleep with white light or something like this, where you're having less and less of videos being made, you'll probably find someone who hit on something and that really took off on their channel by narrowing it down. So if you just do Reiki, it's really broad. But if someone's really trying to sleep, they're gonna say, how do I do Reiki for sleep? And then what you're doing is you're narrowing it down. You'll probably find less videos um, on Reiki for sleep and you'll find maybe one of those videos that really stood out, had the most views. And it might be something like Reiki for sleep with white light because they've narrowed it down. Um, so in other words, pay attention, look around, and you will find um, one of these sweet spots. So one of the things that I was researching when I was doing this video is I found Reiki for sleep with white light during a pandemic. And because the pandemic is um, trending right now, this was a great topic to use. When you find the keywords that properly represent your video, um, during your when you're making your tags, then people will be able to find you. This is one of my bonus tips, but I have a couple more, so keep with me. Um, there is a tool called Keywords Everywhere, keywordseverywhere.com, and this will help you figure out um, exactly what keywords are doing what and how to find it through an algorithm and through an equation. Now it's a little complicated, but comment below if you're interested and I can make more videos on that as well. Um, I also have an amazing class, which is the YouTube for Woopreneurs, and it's really how to launch their first YouTube channel, get to 100 subscribers and 1,000 views on a video, and that's where I really take this stuff and go step by step. So if you're interested, um, also I'll put some links below for that if you really want to go step by step and really take your channel to the next level. Obviously, it works if you already have a channel and you already have um, a lot of views and you're ready to hit the next point. So test your videos. You might not know which video topic is going to go viral, but if a topic takes off, then that's the one you want to do a series on. 
bonus tips, six of them. So in your videos, make sure you mention another video you have so you keep your channel um, keep everybody on your channel, keep them engaged. And can you say Netflix? That's binge worthy content, right? So why I told you guys in the beginning to look at some of our, our other videos is because that's how it works on YouTube. You want to engage people to continue to, um, stay on your channel. You want to make sure you ask people to subscribe, to like in a way that you're comfortable with. You know, most empaths and spiritual teachers, they have trouble being salesy. So I want to encourage you to just be yourself. You know, it's really important to get those likes and shares. So encourage people if they've really got value out of this, they'll be willing to help you out. So lead them to the opt-in and share about your offerings, about your courses and your products, and make sure you have a thumbnail that's distinguishable and large and easy to read. So when people are scrolling through, they've got to be able to see um, big words so they know what the video is about. You want to use your tags that relate to the video only. So you don't want random tags just because it's trending. You want it to relate to the video. So what your next steps, comment below what you're struggling with and we'll answer the questions in the next video. So make sure you let us know what's going on with your channel, where you're at in the process, and we'll be sure to address whatever's coming up for you guys. Beautiful, spiritual, visionary, entrepreneur. I am so grateful to connect with you. So I have some links below if you wanna find out which unique type you are. This is a lot of what Davidian and I do as we work around your genius and what is your unique type. Also have an amazing course for the spiritual entrepreneur to start their YouTube channel. If you need some guidance, you need support, you need to learn all the ins and outs of how to get that started. Just look in the description below. That course is available for you and I'd love to take you through that journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of videos come out. We look at all of our comments and questions and feedback. So let us know what questions you have and share this out. Tell your friends, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.